So in today's lesson, we are going to be using the mass triangle. This triangle shows the relationship between the mass of a substance and the letter we use to represent that is M. Mass is always measured in grams. N, which represents the number of moles, which is always measured in moles. And the gram formula mass, which is known as the GFM, which is also measured in grams. This triangle is shown on the page here. And a way to remember that is using this little story. My nice granny. My standing for M, nice for N, and G for granny. We need to be able to manipulate this triangle to get the appropriate formula. Now, if we cover up the M, if we're working out mass, because the N and the GFM are next to one another, we multiply them. So the formula for mass, mass is equal to N times GFM. If you wanted to calculate the number of moles, you would cover that up in the triangle. And we can see that the M is over the GFM. So the formula for that would be N is equal to M divided by GFM. If you wanted to work out the GFM, you would cover up the GFM in the triangle. And we can see that the M is over the N. So the formula would be GFM is equal to mass divided by number of moles. Now remember, if they give you the formula for a particular compound, you can work out the GFM by using the relative atomic mass of the elements in the data booklet. These are usually only given in multiple choice past paper questions. This question wants us to calculate the mass of two moles of sodium chloride and the formula is given as NaCl. The first thing that we have to do is identify what the question is actually asking us. It wants us to calculate the mass. So we use our mass triangle and we write the formula for mass, which is M is equal to N times GFM. In the question, have we got the number of moles? Yes, we have two. So we can pop that into our formula. Have we been given the GFM? No. Remember the gram formula mass is the mass of one mole of the substance. We have been given the formula, so we can work out the GFM. Sodium, how many have we got in the formula? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 23. One times 23 equals 23. Chlorine, how many do we have in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 35.5. 1 times 35.5 equals 35.5. When we add these up, we get a GFM of 58.5. We can now substitute that into our formula. So when we put this into the calculator, 2 times 58.5 gives us a mass of 117 grams. So if you want, you can pause the video to have a go at this one. And when you're ready, um, I will go through the worked example. This question wants us to calculate the mass of 1.2 moles of lithium oxide and the formula is given as Li2O. We have to write out the formula for mass using our mass triangle. M is equal to N times GFM. The number of moles that's given in the question is 1.2. We don't have the gram formula mass, but we do have the formula to be able to calculate that. Lithium, how many do we have in the formula? We've got two multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page seven, which is seven. Two times seven equals 14. Oxygen, how many have we got in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. One times 16 equals 16. When we add these two numbers up, we get a GFM of 30 grams. We substitute that into the formula. So the mass is 1.2 times 30, which gives us a mass of 36 grams. This question asks us to calculate the number of moles of 2 grams of sodium chloride and the formula is given as NaCl. The question this time wants us to calculate the number of moles. So N is equal to M over 
GFM, or mass divided by gram formula mass. Have we been given a mass in the question? Yes, we've been given two grams, so we can substitute that in. Have we been given a gram formula mass? No, but we do have the formula to be able to calculate that. How many sodiums do we have? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 23. One times 23 equals 23. Chlorine, how many do we have in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 35.5. One times 35.5 equals 35.5. When we add these up, we get a GFM of 58.5 grams. When we pop that into our formula, the number of moles is equal to 2 divided by 58.5, which gives us 0 0.03 moles. If you want to pause the video, you can have a go at this one, and when you're ready, you can resume, and I will work through the worked example. This question wants us to calculate the number of moles of 19 grams of lithium oxide, and the formula is given as Li2O. The number of moles is equal to the mass divided by GFM. Have we been given a mass in the question? Yes, we've been given 19 grams. Do we have a gram formula mass? No, but we have got a formula to be able to work out the gram formula mass. How many lithiums have we been given in the formula? We've got 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 7. 2 times 7 equals 14. Oxygen, how many do we have in the formula? We've got 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 1 times 16 equals 16. When we add these up, we get a gram formula mass of 30 grams. We can substitute that into the formula. So therefore, number of moles is equal to 19 divided by 30. And when you pop that in your calculator, the number of moles is equal to 0 0.63 moles. Very rarely will you be asked to calculate the gram formula mass of a substance using the mass triangle. More often than not, you'll be given the name of the compound and have to work out the formula by doing SVSDF. But sometimes this comes up in multiple choice past paper questions. Calculate the gram formula mass of 6.2 moles of a substance with a mass of 273 grams. To calculate the gram formula mass, we've got GFM is equal to mass divided by number of moles. We can substitute that in. The mass that we've been given in the question is 273 divided by the number of moles, which is 6.2. And when you pop that in your calculator, you get a gram formula mass of 44 grams. This question's from the National 5 2018 written 13A part 2. Malic acid is a carboxylic acid found in some fruits. Calculate the mass in grams of one mole of malic acid. The first thing that we have to do is we have to write out what the question's wanting us to work out, which is the mass. Mass is equal to number of moles times the GFM. Have we been given the number of moles? Yes, in the question we've been given one mole. Do we have the GFM? No. Now to work out the gram formula mass, we must first have a formula. They have given us the structural formula for malic acid. So we can count each of the elements which are found in the structure. Carbon, how many have we got in the structure? We've got four multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 12. Four times 12 equals 48. Hydrogen, how many do we have? We've got six multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is one. Six times one equals six. Oxygen, how many do we have in the structure? We've got five multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. Five times 16 equals 80. When we add all of these up, we get a GFM of 134. We can substitute that into our formula. So mass is equal to one times 134, which equals 134 grams. This question is from the National 5 2017 past paper, multiple choice 8. 
0.25 moles of a gas has a mass of 7 grams. Which of the following could be the molecular formula for the gas? We've been given the number of moles and we've been given a mass. So therefore, we can calculate the gram formula mass. GFM is equal to M divided by N. The mass which has been given in the question is 7 divided by 0 0.25 moles. And when we plot that in our calculator, we get a GFM of 28 grams. This question wants us to work out the molecular formula. Now we know that the molecular formula is equal to the GFM. So if we go through multiple choice answers A, B, C and D, we can see that they all contain carbon and hydrogen. You would go through each of the examples and calculate the GFM for each of the formula that's given. I'm just going to go through the correct answer. The correct answer is B, and I'm going to show you the answer. Carbon, how many have we got in the formula? We've got 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 12. 2 times 12 equals 24. Hydrogen, how many do we have in the formula? We've got 4 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. When we add these numbers up, we get a GFM of 28. This question is from the Intermediate 2, 2013, written 6A. Dishwasher tablets contain many different types of chemicals. A dishwasher tablet was found to contain 1.57 grams of the bleaching agent, sodium percarbonate. How many moles are there in 1.57 grams of sodium percarbonate? The formula mass of sodium percarbonate is given as 157. So what we're trying to calculate in the question is the number of moles. So we write out the formula, N is equal to M divided by GFM. The mass that we've been given in the question is 1.57 grams. Divide by the formula mass or the gram formula mass which is given as 157. When we plot that in our calculator, we get the number of moles as 0 0.01 moles. This last past paper question is from the National 5 2014 past paper written 3B. This is a close reading question which means you have to read the text and then answer the questions which follow. Calculate the number of moles of potassium in 100 grams of raisins. The question wants us to calculate the number of moles. So we write out the formula N is equal to M divided by GFM. Because it's a close reading passage, we have to read the information in the passage to obtain the mass. The mass that's given in the question is 0 0.86 grams. We look up our data booklet for the gram formula mass of potassium, which is 39 grams. When we pop that into our calculator, number of moles is equal to 0 0.86 divided by 39 which equals 0.02 moles.